El Dorado. Yes, El Dorado. What an adventure. What a story. Who would believe it? Who could possibly tell it? Tulio, you are the hero. You must tell it. No, Miguel, please. You are the hero. You must tell it. Yes, I will. But, uh, where do I start? We were in Spain. Yes. In the marketplace. Yes. It was morning. No, it was evening. It was morning. We had just woken. From our siesta, it was evening. Am I telling the story? You're the hero. Compromise. That's a deal. It was midday in the marketplace in Spain. That's us! Oh, no. It's nice to be wanted, isn't it? This isn't hugs and kisses wanted, Miguel. This is thrown into a stinking cell and forgotten about wanted. Oh. We'd better get out of town and quick. And we'd better keep away from the town guards, too. This certainly brings out your worst features. You're a true friend. Anybody watching? No. Being on a wanted poster makes me feel... Nervous? Me too. We've got to get out of here, Tulio. A guard, Tulio! He might not recognize us. Then again, he might. You're right. Greetings! What do you sell? Chickens! Finest quality! Oh? How much for a chicken? Twenty pesetas. Very reasonable! How much for a chicken again? Twenty pesetas for a lovely corn-fed chicken! Hello, my friends. Would you care to indulge in a game of chance? What's the game? Dice. Oh, yes! The bones are my friends. I'm in. Excellent. How much can you wager? One peseta. Ah, not enough, my friend. Come back when you have more.
That's far enough, lads. If you want to get onto the docks, you'll have to pay the dock tax. How much? 20 pesetas for men, free for women. Come on, Miguel. Look out, Tulio, a cop! Greetings! What do you sell? Corn! Golden bounty of the new world! Could you give me a small bag of corn? Give me one peseta and I shall! One peseta? That's all the money we have in the world! Here you go, one peseta. And here you go, one small bag of corn. Chick, chick, chicky! Yum! Lovely corn! Ah. Say goodbye to freedom, bird. It's eaten all our corn! Who cares? We're one chicken up on the deal. What will you give me for this uh, splendid free-range chicken? Five pesetas. What? But you sell them for twenty. That's how the market works, mister. Buy low, sell high. This is an outrage. Haven't I seen your face before? Five pesetas, eh? We'll take it. Have you any more money? Five pesetas! Ah, now you're talking. Show me the money and we can play. Okay, we've got enough money to get into your dice game. Let's play! <laughs> such enthusiasm. The dice await, gentlemen. The rules are simple. The first player rolls two dice. The second player decides whether he will roll higher or lower, and chooses how much to risk on his guess. No more than four pesetas, though. The first player matches the bet, and then the dice are rolled. Uh, what if the second player rolls the same as the first? Then the first player wins. But don't worry. We take turns at being first. Okay, here we go. I say higher. I'll wager two percent. I'll match that.
a three. You win. Very well. Your turn. Now, do you want to bet your roll higher or lower? Lower! How much would you like to wager, my friend? I'll wager... Two pesetas. I'll match your stake. An eight. Fooey, I lost. Now my turn. I say lower. I'll wager. I feel lucky. Four pesetas. I'll match that. A six. I win. Ha <laughs> ha. You should have known better than to try and beat me, the great Zaragoza. Very well. Your turn. I'll wager one peseta. I'll match your stake. An eight. I win. Yes. Now my turn. I say, lower. I'll wager one peseta. I'll match that. A ten. You win. Very well. Your turn. I'll wager... Don't bet every... All right, all right, I was going to. Don't bet... All right. Tulio, that's all up. Okay, okay, I'll hang on to a little bit. Two pesetas. I'll match your stake. A five. I win! Yes! Now my turn. I say... Higher. I'll wager... I feel lucky. Four pesetas. I'll match that. A nine. Loser. Ha <laughs> ha. You should have known better than to try and beat me, the great Zaragoza. Very well. Your turn. Higher. I'll wager... One peseta. I'll match your... A nine. I win. 
Now my... I say... Higher. I'll wager... One peseta. I'll match that. A six. You win. Very well. Higher. I'll wager... Who? I'll match. Low. I'll wait. Three. I'll match that. An eight. Ah. Very well. Lower! I'll wager... Go for it! Four pesetas! I have no more money. Then we'll be on our way. It's been delightful doing business with... Wait, one more wager. But you're cleaned out, man! Not money. Something far more precious. Gems? No, this map. A map? Imagine my excitement. A map. We're gone. Have a nice day. A map of what? A map showing the secret road to El Dorado. El Dorado? The city of gold? El Dorado, the city of fairy tale, you mean? It doesn't exist, Miguel. It's just a trick to fool. El Dorado. Oh, brother. The wager is simple. If I win, I'm back in the game. If you win, you get the map. And the money. No, I keep the money. What? The map's worth a million times more than these few coins. We agree. Are you crazy? Please, Tulio, it's the real thing, I know it. Of course, if you doubt your skill. Hey, the dice stay hot for me. Then prove it. I will. You'd better be right about that map, Miguel. A six. You pair of con men, you've won my map. Maybe, but we're not getting any money out of this. Who cares about the money, Tulio? We've got the map to El Dorado. Well, I'm just quivering with excitement about that, Miguel. Just wait until we're at the fabled city of gold. Yeah, fabled has in non-existent. Come on, let's go. Hey, Pablo, you'll never guess. Oh? What is it, Inigo? Those villains, Miguel and Tulio, have been spotted in the town. Oh, goodness, how frightful. Come, Inigo, we must prevent them from leaving. We're on the road to El Dorado! No, we're not. 
We're still trapped in this town, remember? I am the Great Malazo. Oh! A Torador of great repute. My name is No. Adore. Beloved. From Seville to distant Butte. Oh, Malazo! Who's that? Don't know. Good day. I'm Tulio, and, uh... Greetings and salutations. I am the Great Malazo. We heard. Of course, my fame has spread all across the world. No, we heard it from you, just now. So, you fight bulls for a living. Any good at it? Any good? Any good? Do you know who I am? Remind me. I am the Great Malazo, conqueror of El Diablo. El Diablo? The devil? I defeated the devil in Bovine 4. The devil looked like a bull? Right. Okay. He's crumbled in the head, Tulio. Come on, let's go. No, we're not. We're... Look out, Tulio, a guard! Hello. What do you do? I stand here and make sure nobody opens that gate. Doesn't sound very exciting. In this line of work, excitement is something to be avoided. Oh, really? Behind that gate is El Diablo, the biggest, most evil bull in all Spain. 
You don't say. He's never been defeated and never forgets a face. So, if you want to live to a ripe old age, don't get El Diablo mad at you. I don't want that. I don't want that. Hold there, varlets. Violets? Did he just call us violets? None shall pass. I, Don Mocoso, conqueror of the Moors, pledge it. Hey, kid, beat it. Come on, Miguel, we don't have time for this. Barrels. Lots of them. Yep. This is Barrel Central, all right. Barrels. Lots of... Yep. <laughs> he hurt me! You really shouldn't let a kid push you around like that, Tulio. Barrels. Wait. Uh-oh. What if somebody was to advance on that little brat in a barrel? His stones would just bounce harmlessly off. One problem. Those barrels have had fish and vinegar in them. Where are you going to find somebody dumb enough to get in one? I can't see a thing in here. Look through the bunghole. Oh, right. That's better. Go get him, Miguel. Not fair. You're cheating. We've done it! He's run off! Yay, us. We outwitted a six-year-old. Can I get out of this barrel now? We're all... No worries. Hey! He dropped his slingshot! I'll have that. Good. He was dangerous with it. Although, not half as dangerous as you. Boy, am I glad to be out of that stinking barrel! I can imagine. In fact, I don't need to imagine. Could you stand downwind of me? Hey, Pablo! What news, Inigo? New orders! Where to cover the docks? Ah! All I've done today is run around. Very well. To the docks, Inigo.
So why are we looking at that dress, Tulio? Hmm. Remember what the taxman said, Miguel. Twenty pesetas for a man to get into the dock. And women get in free. Oh, no, Tulio, please, don't make me wear a dress. Not you, Miguel. Me. We just need to get to it somehow. We can't climb that fence, and it would take a cannonball to knock it down. Or a bull? Wouldn't it be better if you made the bull angry, then put up the wanted poster? You're right. We don't want this poster up for longer than we have to. I have no... You're not the first person to say... Have you ever heard of the... The wretch Malezo, you mean. The dolt Malezo. The boggle-eyed fool Malezo. Friend of yours, is he? That pathetic fool? Never. He does say he beats El Diablo. Ha <laughs> ha! He ran around like a wet hen for so long, El Diablo grew bored chasing him. Hmm. He does claim to have defeated El Diablo. Let him face El Diablo again, and we'll see who is defeated. The bull will remember him? El Diablo never forgets a face, despite seeing more of that coward's behind. <laughs> I've got nothing I want to... We've seen where El Diablo is kept. He's a real monster. Yes, and only I, the great Malezo, was able to conquer him. I guess you're the real thing, all right. Hey, why don't we take a stroll over there and you can tell us all about it. To El Diablo? Yes, your greatest battle. He is securely locked up, isn't he? Behind a big, strong gate. Very well, then, yes, uh, I, the great Malezo, shall tell you of my glorious victory. Follow me. You're my hero, Malezo. You! You have the nerve to return here! I fear nothing. By the way, that gate really is secure, isn't it? Craven Worm! Poppinjay! Hoi polloi! Churl! What did you call me? Um, nothing. I can't bear the sight of you, you coward! If you won't leave here, then I shall! 
Good day. And I'd advise you two to have as little to do with that phony as possible. Well, you showed him all right. Yeah, you showed him what a wimp you are. He was wise to leave before he stirred my ire. You what? So, are you going to tell us the tale of how you defeated El Diablo? Patience, my adoring friends. I need an audience. What are we? Take out Paella? I am the Great Malazo. Oh, it's Malazo. How does he do that? Listen, my friends, to the tale of how the great Malazo, that's me, defeated the so-called undefeatable bull, the monstrous El Diablo. Oh, so hunky. Now what? Stage one of my daring plan. Which is? Currently under development. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to unlock the gate, and then make myself scarce. Is that wise? The making myself scarce part is very wise, but the rest isn't. Let's do it anyway. Okay. Work, Tulio. That took a special kind of stupidity. Thank you, Miguel. It was step two of my daring plan. And step three is... Run!
Okay, the plan is, the bull sees the poster, thinks it's me, Finally, we have the dress. Hey! Oh, what now? Can we help you, sir? Get your kick stealing from little children, do ya? Not usually. Let me handle this, Miguel. Uh, there appears to have been a misunderstanding. That's them, Papa. They bullied me and stole my slingshot. Uh-oh. No, Miguel, not uh-oh. This is not an uh-oh situation. I'm gonna make you wish you'd never been born. Uh-oh. Oh, yes! Now I remember! What a charming boy! We were playing Knights and Violet. Varlet! And Varlet with him earlier. You dropped your slingshot, Sonny. Remember? He dropped it? Well, yeah, but... You told me they stole it! As I said, uh, just a misunderstanding. Here. Just wait till I get you home. But that one had a barrel on his head and... Come on, you. Okay, now for the most daring part of my master plan. More daring than getting poked by a mad bull. This is the part where I... dress up as a woman. You're right. That is more daring. Okay, look away. I'm changing my clothes, do you mind? Okay, if you're going to be like that... Ta-da! Now you're frightening me, Tulio. I'll be able to get past the taxman easily. What about me? You wear what you like, just so long as it doesn't clash with this. right there. Okay, Miguel. Here's what I want you to do. Forget it, Tulio. You're on your own. Bye. Miguel! Nobody passes this. Hmm. Why, hello, my dear. Uh, hi. Uh, I mean, uh, What's a senorita like you doing in the docks alone? Um, uh, my husband, uh, he's on Cortez's ship. I want to wave him goodbye. You poor creature. You will be lonely when he's gone. Aren't you worried that people might uh, sneak by while you're talking to me? Ha, not me. I've got eyes in the back of my head. Even so, 
What if somebody called to say Miguel was to try and sneak by? Don't worry about that. Let us talk about you. Uh-oh, it's up to you now, Miguel. Come to my vineyard. We could tread the grapes together. Oh, you! Your hands are workers' hands. I like that in a woman. Oh, you are awful! Your eyes are like olives. Dark and mysterious. <laughs> Finally, Miguel's made his escape. What was that, my dear? I said, senor, you behave like an ape! Good day! Oh, was it something I said? Told you I'd get us past him. Come on! What are you looking at, Miguel? You know something? That dress, it really suits you. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. I'm going to pretend I didn't say it. Good. Now come on. I sure will miss you in that dress, Tulio. You may mock me, Gail, but it got us this far, didn't it? You're right. All we have to do now is find a way over the wall, and we're free! See the ship? That will carry Cortez to the New World. Those poor guys! Who'd sail the ocean in one of those? You'd better take this map, Miguel. You were the one who wanted it so badly. Why don't you do something for a change, Miguel? Safety notice. To avoid damage to machinery, keep limbs away from all moving parts. Someone's idea of a joke, I think. Hey, you're a sorry-looking fellow. I'd buy you something to eat, but I haven't two pesetas to rub together. Hey, look! Exercise time for donkeys. What is that thing? Some kind of conveyor system for loading the boats, I guess. You know, that could be our way out of here. There's a piece of string hanging here. Perhaps we could find something to tie onto it. I'm not going back. Hey, Miguel, look! Isn't that a barrel of carrots over there? So what? So, perhaps we can entice the donkey with a carrot! But how do we get past the guards? Yuck! I 
hate those things. They're so dirty and smelly. What do you think, Tulio? Oh, Miguel! Yes? I've found another empty barrel. No way am I getting in a barrel again! If you did, you could sneak past the guards. Why would I even want to go near the guards? Just covering all the bases, old friend. Why is it always so dark inside these things? Those carrots will help you to see in the dark. I don't want to see in here. I want to see where I'm going, Tulio. Remember that bunhole? Yes? Use it! Okay, calm down. It's a miracle. I can see again, Tulio. Walking barrel. Nice going, Miguel. I've got the carrot! Did you hear something? Not unless these barrels have started talking. I'll be glad to be out of here. Okay, got the carrot. And that's the last time you'll see me wearing a barrel. Shane, I thought you were rather fetching me. Yeah, fetching a carrot. Look, 
Tulio. The donkey's driving the conveyor. That last conveyor! With our barrel escape, we left our problems behind us. Or so we thought. When we got on board the ship, that was only the start of our adventures. As I was saying... Fine, don't mind me. I thought I was telling the story. But what about my turn? If you really have to. We thought we were safe. Then the sailors discovered us. We pleaded, but they were difficult men, and it did no good. They imprisoned us in the brig. We could see no escape. The situation was desperate. But cometh the hour, cometh the man, so I began to hatch a plan. Hey, Tulio, that was very cute. Oh, it was nothing, just a little rhyming thing I threw together. There's a lot of money in poetry, you know. You should work on that. Hear that? All I can hear is you pacing up and down. That's Altivo up there, Cortez's warhorse. Hey Altivo, here boy, maybe he can get us out of here. And how on earth is he going to do that? He could throw the keys down. You know Tulio, that might not be the dumbest idea you've ever had, but it's close. Till tomorrow. Trust me, I feel a plan coming on. Are you just going to sit there all night? You got a better idea? Well, it just so happens, now that you mention it, 
no. What do you think this is? I don't know. A rat hole? This is one heck of a big rat hole. Well, I guess it's one heck of a big rat. <laughs> it made me jump, that's all. <laughs> now that is funny. Made me jump, that's all. <laughs> you put that in there, and the rat will take your arm for dessert. What do you think I am, stupid? Wonder if there's anything useful down there, apart from bilge. What is bilge, anyway? That won't work. This apple sure looks appetizing. Let's eat it. No, Miguel. It might be the last food we get on this voyage. Altivo! Altivo! Here, boy! I've got a lovely apple, Altivo! Want it? Come on, boy! Get me the keys! Ha <laughs> ha! And you call me optimistic! Here, boy! Here's the apple! I don't believe you just did that. Trust me, Miguel. Ha! I told you it would work, Miguel. Miguel? I've got to admit, a boat hook wasn't what I had in mind when I gave Altivo the apple. That horse certainly drives a hard bargain. Hey, monkey! Hey, monkey! Wake up! Maybe she only responds to her name. Stop stealing my biscuits, Josephine. Want to end up like me? Oof, he's gone back to sleep. And now I know the monkey's name. Hey, Josephine! Josephine! Shh! Here, girl. Good girl, Josephine. Wanna play a game? Okay, here's how we play. You hook the keys on the end of the boat hook. Oh! <laughs> Here, Joseph. 
Josephine. I've got a lovely crunchy biscuit. Actually, they taste like sun-baked camel dung, but to a monkey, who knows? I'll give you a biscuit, Josephine, if you fetch me the pink key. Good to see Miguel in the right place for once. At least I'll have something soft to land on if I fall. Locked. And it needs two keys. Locked. And it needs two keys. That key fits. I need to go and get another key. If I fall, I'll have a nice soft landing on Miguel. I've got more biscuits, Josephine! You can have one if you fetch me the red key. That key fits! Ha <laughs> ha! I've unlocked it! If I put that in my pocket, I'd have uh, hot pants. Who knows, they might catch on. you get out? Uh, parole? Any more lip, and I'll take you to Cortez. Come now, let's be friends and put the past behind us. Back to the hole with you, or I'll feed you to the sharks. about this? Jump! I'm rich beyond your wildest dreams! Yeah, and I'm the captain. From your worst nightmares.
knock me out, Tulio. And you threw away the apple. I'll think of another plan. Please, don't. Why are you doing that? I'm thinking. Oh. You ready for a big idea, Tulio? Go on, amaze me. That ladder has to be... Oh, why didn't I think of that? Then all we need is a key, a spare ship, and everyone to fall asleep for a day or two. Hey, Tulio, look at the... Leave me alone, I can't... Harder, Tulio, harder! I'm crying! Harder! Ha-ha! <laughs> That's it, Tulio! You've done it! Tulio? Tulio? Maybe you ought to lay off the thinking for a while, old friend. I need something to prop it open. Say, Altivo, throw down something to prop up in this bilge cover. <laughs> what an idea Tulio had, thinking a horse could understand words. Pull yourself together, Miguel. The wind probably blew it down. to lay off need to use the I need to use need to use Hmm, <laughs> two keys are missing from the... There is no chance of getting past the sailor. Something to make me look like...
the lamp would burn. to stand around doing nothing. Sorry, force of habit. Cortez could do an inspection at any moment, and we need to get the cannon polished. Well, I just love to help you, but uh, they took me off cannon polishing. Said I made them too shiny. Just grab a rag and get on with it. Say, this is one shiny cannon. Get polishing. I can't find a rag. Use my socks. Here. Hope they don't smell as bad as Tulio's. Hey, you can have... while I think what to do. That's more like it. You can have a biscuit and a swig of my rum when you're done. Can't wait. Say... Able. Don't you go taking all of those biscuits. I've got enough problems with the rats stealing my food. I hate rats. Horrible things. Ooh, give me the heebie-jeebies they do. I didn't want the lamp oil leaking all over my... You can't go through there. That door's locked. Security's tight on this ship. Um, how do you get out? Don't need to. Got food and water right here. Only way out is to blow a hole in the side of the ship. And believe me, these beauties can do it. I'd get back. The lamp would burn. No way. Can't climb. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, presto! Now I've just got to figure out what to do with it. four-legged friend. Aha! Gotcha! Now I can give that sailor polishing the cannon a fright. is mightier than the sword. Rats really do it for this guy. <laughs> He's out cold. Aha! Now you're thinking, Miguel, old son. Now I just have to light it. If I light the sock over here, it might burn out before I can get to the cannon. The lamp would burn up. If I light the sock over here, it might burn out before I can... The lamp would burn... That would be just silly. That would be just silly. Like our ticket out of here. Rats, really. What was that noise? But did you make that noise? What noise? And did you make this hole in the ship? What hole? Oh, that hole! No, nothing to do with me. 
Well, it looks like a way out, whoever did it. Now that you mention it, I might have had something to do with making the hole. Climbing up there. Tulio, my old friend. You could climb up to the deck from here. Why don't you? But you're such a good climber. You're as agile as a cat. Oh, all right then. It's rusted solid. I'll take one of these for Altivo. I've already... Altivo, a whole shiny red apple just for you. Hey, Altivo, that was some throw. Getting the boat hooked through that hatch from here. You ever thought of taking up baseball? Here, let's untie that rope. You can't get into any trouble out here. This should help Miguel up. Miguel! Use the rope to climb up! What if I fall? I can always hope. Yeah, thanks. I sure hope you know how to tie knots. Say, Miguel. Try to get the light. Okay, no problem. Tiva would like another one of these. What 
do you think Altiva would do if I put this apple on the plank? Miguel! You're a genius! Why did you put the apple down there? Altivo can't reach it. Lateral thinking, my old friend. Just watch. And so we floated loose upon the ocean, lost, miserable, starving, desperate. We must have been out there a whole afternoon, before finally landing the boat upon a shore. Oh, how we rejoiced! Sharing the small boat with an animal was no fun, I can tell you. Still, at least I had Altivo to talk to. Ha! Ah, very funny. Are you going to carry on with this story? Oh, you mean I have your permission? Just get on with it. So, there we were, washed up on the beach of a distant land. Dry land! Safety! Just as I promised. You know, this place looks kind of familiar. Oh no. Did you drink salt water? Look, over there. That's the first marker on the map. The map? We can find El Dorado now. You still have the map? There's the Berg Rock. This is great. We're going to be rich. Miguel, you're a sad, sad man. Guess you must have upset the locals. Oh, waiter! Check, please. We're leaving. Are you crazy? We can find El Dorado, the city of gold! Hmm, you do have a point. See what happens when you don't leave a tip. Can I help you? One day, I'll own a million boats like this. Don't worry, Altivo. Follow me! I know the way! Hmm, I'm so not impressed. Uh, I mean, this way. That vine up there could be useful. Take that! And that! Sorry, Tulio. I guess the excitement's getting to me. Take that! Aha! This way! To El Dorado! What about Altivo? We can't leave him here. It's a jungle, Miguel, not a trip through the park. But he'll be... lonely. <laughs> no, we'll come back for him later. When we found the gold. When we've found the gold. Sorry, Altivo. 
Too risky, Miguel. You'd have to get pretty close to use that sword. would be just silly. Oh, look! That poor creature! That's life in the jungle! Is there nothing we can do? Short of banning on the snake? No. Have a heart, Tulio! Wow! Look at that! Yes, Miguel, it's a shadow. Did you ever notice you have one too? Very funny, Tulio. Just look, marker number two. The raven? Where? On the ground. Miguel, I do believe you're right. The cliff must be casting the shadow. Guess we need to go up there then. First things first. We've got the little creature to save. That's a long way up. Hey, do you hear that? Makes funny sounds when the wind goes through it. No, we should hurry up and help that poor little creature first. I know. I'll hypnotize it with my flute. But you can't play the flute. It's never too late to learn. It's terrible! It worked! I must be a natural! Don't quit your day job, Miguel. I think that means... Uh, thank you. So, what's your name then? What was that? Oh, good grief! Just call him Bebo. Why Bebo? Sounds like Bebo. But what if it's not a him? With a name like Bebo, what does it matter? Okay, so we saved Bebo from the snake. In your version, it sounds like I did nothing. Let me tell what happened next. Are you still with us, Bebo? That would be crazy. Miguel, my old friend, could... I'll give it a go. No, I need something to cut it with. This should do it. A nice piece of rope.
now what? Could you give me a hand with this? Spaghetti arms. <sighs> All right, I'm holding the tree. Now what? Hmm, nah, it's too light on its own. More action, less thinking, please, Tulio. All right, Bebo, you're going for a little ride. Don't worry, it'll be fun! Ready? Bebo, can you hold up? Bend the tree. Are you doing this? It's all part of my plan. Very well. <sighs> all right, I'm holding the tree. Now what? Okay, Bebo, just one last time. I'm sure this is going to work. And when you get up there, push one end of the vine down for us, okay? Ready? Ah, come on, Miguel, up we go. Nice work, Bebo. Yeah, not like you deserve it. How's your head, Bebo? That won't work. That won't work.
Nah, leave it. We want... A walking stick. Just what I will need for when I get old. Let's see. Just jam it in there. So, if I push the lever, the rocks will... Miguel, you're so much stronger than me. Could you help me, please? Oh, let me at it. Yeah, very funny. Tell the story properly, will you? Now, what did that Moses guy do? That was a nice party trick. Where's my stick? There can be miracles, my foot. That was easy. Are you coming, Miguel? Um, Tulio? Yes? How did you get past this last bit? I jumped. All the way from here? 
Yes. Can't you do it? Something must have changed. You couldn't jump that distance. All right, Miguel. I'll find a way to help you. Let's see if this doesn't do the trick. There you are, big guy. A nice little bridge for you. Bebo, come on, boy! Bebo, that looks so easy. Well, we're over the river. Where do we go next? Let's find the skull. Uh-oh. is find the back door out of here. And then on to the weeping woman. Piece of cake. Wait! You don't know what might be in there. One day, Miguel, you'll listen to that little voice. find a way to open this door. There's a lever over there. I wonder what it does. Miguel, come back here. What happened to our partnership? Symbols above the lever seem to match those above the doors.
Maybe this is the way out of here. What? Where am I? What happened to Tuyo? And where's Bebo? Where have you been? I've been waiting here forever. What kept you? Over to you. 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 Over to you.
Over to you. Teamwork, that's what it's all about, Julia. I see Bebo's managed to find us again. Wow! Look! A waterfall! From here, the rock looks like a face crying. It's the weeping woman from the map, Tulio. Did I ever doubt you? You know, we could fit through that eye. If only the water wasn't running. Bebo, I want you to go into that tunnel. You found the statue! Well done, Bebo! You better be right about this gold, Miguel. The statue should fit into the mold. <laughs> the water, Miguel! It stopped running! The eye must be our way forward. adventuring we're nearly there. Altivo? How on earth did you beat us up here?
Once we reached El Dorado, our worries were over. Or so we thought. You see, they believed that we were gods and treated us accordingly. Who could blame them? Yes, if you have the complexion of an angel as I do. It's the kind of mistake that can so easily happen. We were having the time of our lives. Really living the good life. Until the evil Tsekul Khan released the terrible Stone Jaguar. We need to do something fast. Don't worry. We can outrun that big cat. I'd hate to think what happens if we don't. Now, where have I heard that sound before? Jump for it! <laughs> My god! That was close! We might have been Jaguar droppies by now. How do we get out of here now? But you're the bright one. You think of something? Ouch! Who dares to cross the bridge? Oh, do! Merely the gods, Miguel and Tulio. Never heard of you. We're traveling incognito. And we're in a hurry, so just raise the bridge and uh, we are out of here. No! Why not? You must pay the tribute. Pay? Are you serious? We're gods. Gods don't have to pay. Listen up. Everybody pays, Scuppies. But we're broke. Huff! Enjoy the Jaguar. He's going to enjoy you. Oh dear, what do we do? What do we do? We could uh, panic, I guess. Uh-oh, he's getting closer. I hear it. Don't you think I'm scared enough? My, what big eyes you have. Enough to see your ugly face. That ugly guy on your side just lit up, Miguel. Look at that! One of the statues lights up on your side, Tulia. Your move, big guy. I got it! I want to play you a little number now that has a special meaning in my life. It's a great tune, and it's always been good for me. I think you're going to love it too. If I raise the stone, do you promise not to play it again? Brings tears to the eyes, huh? Something like that. I knew all those weeks in the tribute band would pay off one day. Wonder if you knew the guy.
Your move, big guy. Back to you, Julia. the gift for you an individually crafted solid gold plate on which is etched a divine vision this limited edition antique personality plate is the gift that goes on giving forever let me see let me see oh the plate is fine but what a beautiful face is crafted into the gold! Such exquisite features! Such magnificent eyes! I shall let you pass. Your move, big guy. This rare essence comes to you from one of the finest parfumiers in the romantic old world. La odeur Celora. Vibrant, colorful, with crisp floral top notes. It's a fragrance you can never forget. I'll vouch for that. Ooh, you're right! It's peculiar, it's earthy, and yet it's strangely appealing. I like it. Never before have I smelled a more exquisite perfume. I shall let you pass. Back to you, Julia. direct from the Imperial Kitchens of Madrid. This biscuit the ship will tease and tantalize your taste buds like no other confection. Ooh, no. let me have it, let me have it. Oh, so crispy, so pungent, I can taste the sea breeze. So full of life too. That'll be the weevils, I guess. I shall let you pass. Hey! We did it! Right! Let's move on before that kitty gets here. Come on, Miguel, the Jaguar is coming!
Man, it's hot in here. Those rocks look pretty shaky to me. You'll need to be quick, big guy. Remember the turtles? Who could forget them? Come on, buddy. You can do better than that. Uh-oh! He's get- I hear it! to put the handle for that door way over here. Not very hospitable, I agree. So, is the lever for my door all the way over there? Hang on, I'll check. Either get roasted alive or eaten alive. So I have a choice, huh? your time, didn't you? Okay, we can move on at last. Come on, Miguel. change in our fortune. You think those skulls are from real, live, dead people? Put it this way, it's not modern art. Oh well, that's a relief.
Over to you. Julia, pull that lever near you. We need to work to... Julia, pull that lever near you. Over to you. Over to you. Some of... Some of these fruit have teeth marks. Some of these... Over to you. You want me to pull the lever now? Yes, hurry! Hurry up, Miguel! Maybe I can use the fruit to lure the spider under a block and squash it. Yes! 
Over to you. Tulio, pull the lever near you. Some of these, some of these. Get him up here. We need to use the blocks to trap the spider. Over to you.
Over to you. Over to you. Over the you. Over to you. about that. That Jaguar sure sounds close. <laughs> remember that plan I told you about, Miguel? Well, I, I don't remember the details, but I remember something about... <laughs> Running!
Getting rid of that monster was a relief. As well as disposing of that stone jaguar, of course. But we still weren't singing from the same sheet. We wanted to return to Spain with a shipload of gold. And you wanted to stay in El Dorado. But, of course, Cortez had to go and spoil the party, so to speak. The only way to stop him was to seal the entrance to El Dorado. Tulio finally had a plan that looked promising. What do you mean, finally? But first, we had to fill the water tower with water. We were taken to the water system by one of the local youngsters. This is the place. Out the way, little girl. God's coming through. Wait, Tulio. Maybe she can help us some more. Oh, yeah? Like the kid with the slingshot? Leave it to me. So, this is the water temple. Oh, yes. Good. So, where's the switch that turns on the water? The switch? Ha. What do you mean, ha? I mean, ha. You'll be lucky. The water temple is Zekko Khan's domain. Only he knows how to make the water flow. Come on, Tia, we're gods. We can figure this out. And there I was, thinking we were just a couple of ordinary guys. Beware. Even if you open the water gates and make the fountain flow, you will never escape the monsters that lurk within. Uh, m m monsters Monsters. Good. Nothing too serious, then. Come, Tulio. We have a city to save. Have a nice day now. Kids these days. Such imaginations. Well, this is just great. Where do we start? We don't have much time. We need to get the water flowing. I propose we split up and get on with it. Great plan, Tulio. I knew you'd think of something. We'll meet up later, yeah? Oh, dear. I hope he'll be able to cope on his own. Okay, Miguel, I've had enough of your impulsive actions. I can fix this on my own. So, it operates a trapdoor. It seems to be a water gate. It must raise to let the water flow through. The sun gem may pass. I am clean out of sun gems. Well, you had better go and find one. Some cogs on the wall, and what looks like space for more. Looks like a pump. I just need to work out how to get it going. Only the bearer of the evil eye may pass. Would one of my evil eye looks do? No. I wish Miguel's sister was here. 
She can look pretty scary. There's a cog just lying on the ground. Another water gate. I need to think of something else. Not the prettiest of faces by a long way. Interesting eyeball, though. That eye is wedged tightly in its socket. It would take Another cog! A mosaic on the wall! What? Something's embedded! Is that another cog? It fits like a glove. Well, like a cog anyway. Click. Hey, this is fun. Whoa. What on earth? Why, this is a gemstone carved into the shape of the sun. Be worth a few pesetas when I get it back to Spain. Hey, now that didn't happen before. Not the thing. That's a lever behind those bars. 
That's one pretty scary statue. That's one pr Positive mental attitude. That's what all this is about. That too, Leo. Now, what am I actually going to do? Ooh, he looks even uglier with only one eye. Hello? That looks like a water gate. I could probably move it, but there's no handle. I'd need to use something as a lever. That looks like a water gate. I could probably move. I'd need to use. Just great. He looks pretty angry. I'd better run for it. to me. It's just gotta be Miguel's fault. That was a close one. Okay, try to stay calm. Don't panic. Just run for it! Triumph of hope over desperation. Now, onward. 
I must find Tulio and get this old place popping water. It looks like an ancient water pumping mechanism. It looks like an It looks like That's all of the water gates open, but where has Tulio gone to? That's a pretty picture, all right. That wouldn't work. Believe what just happened. There was a, a terrible stone jaguar and 
It chased me around the building. Then I trapped it in a pit and... You managed to do that? Well, hey, it was easy. Are you crazy? It was terrifying. One jumped on me when I tried to get to this lever in here. There's a lever? Let me have a look. Be my guest. Julia, we're alive! Hooray! Voila! What? What? Oh, um, uh, nothing. This place is spooking me. It works, Julia. The water's flowing. Great! Now let's get out of here. We need to finish Cortez. There was ever any doubt. We are gods, after all. Now you must finish the job. Come on, Julio, there's no time for goodbyes. The water tower will soon be full. You have a wave to catch. Well, that's how we save the City of Gold from falling into the clutches of Cortez. And how we lost a fortune, of course. Hmm, there is that. But there are more important things than wealth. Such as? A beautiful sunset, the company of friends, a healthy body, honest toil, adventure... Listen, Miguel, if I find out it was you that lost the other paddle... Relax, Tulio. Just enjoy the weather. Never mind the weather. It's your turn to paddle. Okay. Here we go. Steady about. I've told you a million times, Miguel. The sun sets in the west. Spain is to the east. And I've explained a million times, Tulio. It all depends which side of Spain we're on. The world's round! <laughs> 